Hello, I believe today is day 16, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, of the Century Home Kitchen renovation. So I'll give you a look around, see what see what's new. Not much today. And first impression, you might not think much has happened because cabinet doors are not on. Instead, it's um it's this, which is just beautiful. My impression is that this was this was basically a one whole day's work here and as you can see there's still a small gap between the ceiling and the top of that mold there so I assume that's just really tricky to do and he's waiting till tomorrow I've never lived in a house that had that type like that exquisite of a, of a crown to it so oh it's just amazing it's amazing um, you might be seeing some paint p cracking and peeling at the juncture with the drywall there. That was taking the tape off. You know, I let that ceiling paint sit for a whole 24 hours before I um, put tape on it to do the drywall, yet still it's cracked. So, But we can mend that. Um, So yeah, so that's what happened today. Oh, I guess there was some work on the um, the exterior wall of this window that that houses this window. Um, so there was that some mudding around it again, and some mudding back here. This is the this is the basement. This is the stairwell to the basement, and below this wall sconce, there was. Um, There was what we figure like, I'm not sure if I'm using the proper term, but there was kind of like a juncture box for when there was knob tube wiring in this house. It's housed in that wall and it, um, so it was, you know, empty by the time we possessed it, but it was, it was, it was still a space in there. We moved into this house and there was just a hole in this wall and we were never quite sure what its purpose was and we never got around to filling it in. Well, they had to do something about that. And so, um, so they have, so they, so, so they, you know, knocked it out, <clears throat> mudded the drywall, and our job will be to, you know, paint that over. We'll have a lot of painting to do, probably this spring. I have to paint out there. They put, um, like, under the sill of that window, because they raised the bottom edge of it by four inches, so um, it's not going to be um, vinyl siding. Mr. Hollowack asked about that. It's not going to be that. It's going to be... Uh, I just said, look, whatever's least expensive and easiest. And so they just made it lumber. So we'll paint it brown. It'll be like a thick brown edge to the window is what it'll ultimately end up looking like. So yeah, so they so they, they worked on that a bit today. Um, oh yeah, the electrician was here. He moved, a, he moved an electrical outlet. We overlooked this. We overlooked that um, there was an electrical outlet. And that hole in the wall you see right there, that was an electrical outlet that we overlooked and um, something had to be done about it because, of course, um, we now have a stack of cabinets here. So he's moved that outdoors. That's now going to be an outdoor. You know, there's just, that was the least expensive option for us. It looks like the wall is green. Hey, Paul, they just painted red on top of the green wall. You can see here. It looks like it was the green to match the green in the front room. Yeah. That's interesting. So Susie asked me if we're going to repaint this, um, the dining room. And I said I wasn't sure. Because I'm not sure. Possibly. I mean, I don't think I would have chosen maroon or red or whatever that color is specifically. But we haven't disliked it so far, so. So we'll see. Well, anyway, that's all I got for now. So um, next episode tomorrow, hopefully I have some covered doors and all the crown molding will be done by then. See you then. Bye.